Hi, and welcome to GIS Pathway, helping guide you to success in the world of GIS. Today we're going to do, I'm um, taking XY table and uh, creating a point file um, for analysis. Uh, this can be done very easy, but uh, it just takes a few steps. First you need your uh, point data in some type of uh, table. Here I have an, uh, a table of Excel. This Excel table can be added into Arc Map 9, 2, and higher. If you don't have that high um, version, you can use a .dbf. Um, so with that said, with our XY data here, we are going to close this out, and we are going to add this to our map. Here you see, let me back up a step, um, we have XY data there, and you have to just double click on the file and get to the sheet, select the sheet with the data. With the sheet added, we can see it's added to the source tab and not the display tab since um, there's nothing to display since it is a table. And with the source tab um, selected again, we go back in there and we can right click on our table and select um, data to um, XY um, display here. And we need to select the fields that have our X and Y coordinates. So with those selected, we can then go down and edit our um, our spatial reference. Um, you can either import it or select it through um, just searching through browsing. Here I'm going to import it from my parcel file, which I already have in there. So with the preset set, I'm going to hit OK. Here is uh, just a warning saying that there is no object ID in my table, and so I'm not going to be able to query based on this temporary file that is added. But if you look now in your table of contents, you can see that the new event layer has been added. This is a temporary file. And if you want to make it permanent, you'll have to export it out, which we'll do in just a second. But you see they're here now located in the right locations from some surveys that have been done and data collected. So right click on your event table and hit export. We're going to export it out all features. Um, type in the name that you want. I'm only just going to name it parcel, parcel points, or something like that. And uh, this will export it to the location that I've selected and hit OK. It's going to ask me to add it to the map. I'm going to say yes. And with this added, um, you can go to display and see that it's there. I'm going to remove my temporary event layer that was created. Now this is the permanent layer. I can edit this um, just like any other points um, shape file or um, use it however I would like to query as well. So that's basically it. If you would like to find more tips and hints, please check out my website, gispathway.wordpress.com. Thanks for watching.